Welcome to this session about the creation and the labeling of alignment. In this drawing, you will see that we've got quite a few uh, road center line alignments. And we just want to show you how you can label this and some of the things that you need to watch um, in terms of how you create these uh, alignments. Uh, the advantages of making sure that you create them in such a way that they are dynamic, which then allows the situation that when there are changes, uh, you don't have to have to start from scratch in, in your alignment. So if, if you look at this um, alignment, we you must always observe that one of the things that it does is to maintain tangency between the lines. So whatever cha changes I make to this alignment, this curve, uh, the, 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 the curve of the road center line uh, remains tangent to the two chords. Uh, so it is, it is very important that when you do these alignments, you pay special attention to that. And also in terms of your, your settings, um, it is important that um, you you do set uh, warnings for yourself so that um, you know w there is an implied uh, intersection of the of the um, two segments uh, also what you can do is also to make sure that you do check this box which will then allow you to receive warnings should the tangency uh, between the two chords be violated so those are some of the things that you must you must just ob uh, observe let me just undo that uh, okay let's let's start now by by labeling this um road center line so let's come to alignment we're gonna come and do a single segment we select that uh, okay let's let's undo that uh, let's let's come into an alignment we add alignment labels um, in here we are gonna select single segment um, at this point we will start by where's the start there's a start uh, okay, the start of this road is there, and then we want to again come and label the end. Uh, let's see, the end of the road is there. Okay, also we're gonna have to label the, the PI. There's a PI okay now we can generate the uh, setting out table for this for this um, curve for this road on that we have to come here and we say it's for the alignment we say add segment uh, we have to choose we're choosing alignment number six and again, just observe that we are looking for a dynamic behavior in terms of how we want to create that setting out table. Uh, sorry, I just want to change the style. Uh, so we must just uh, make sure that we create a, a dynamic, a dynamic um, arrangement there. One, I like this style number two. Okay, so now there is our data table. Uh, looks like I've got the wrong road there. Let's see. Uh, add segment. I want alignment number six. Just always uh, just check the style here. I want style number two. Okay. So yeah, that's the curve I want. Because this other one I've already I've already done done these other ones. Okay, that's that is. Um, just observe the um, the coordinates here, and I just want to show you 
how uh, when I move let's say let's look at the the end point when I move the end point how that coordinate will change okay dynamically uh, let's do that if I move it to there you can clearly see that there's now been a change so this will um, make sure that you know you you have improved efficiency in your work so yes i would i would just always like to advise you on that so these are all my uh, alignments and as i say that the way i have set them up is such that whenever there is any violation of a uh, tangency on them i will be warned and then i can i can go ahead and fix that uh, I hope this video uh, assists you um, in, in, in your designs. But also, if you can also uh, notice here, I have also marked on my drawing the intersection points um, of the two alignments at, at all the, the, the intersection. This will help us when we are doing the um, the design, designing the intersection, just to make sure that the crown the crowns of the two roads at an intersection do meet. Uh, but yes, I hope I hope that um, helps you in, in in with your designs, and uh, you'll be able to generate your setting out tables for your for your for your for your alignments. Uh,